example, I'm going to show how we can use data analysis to pack for multiple linear regression. Again, I'm considering the same data set, but the tracking company data set. I'm going to go through two examples in this video. The first example is I'm going to regress time on miles and deliveries. So both are numerical variables. In the second example, I'm going to regress time on miles and delivery time. This time, delivery time is a categorical variable. So we, um, we have to convert them into dummy variable first. So let's begin. There are some minor technical requirements when you use data analysis for linear regression. You do have to make sure all the independent variables are next to each other as in a column format. We have miles here, but delivery is quite far is in column D instead. So we have to put them together. So what I'm going to do is I really like to copy all the variables I need in a new worksheet. As example one, I'm out. Okay, so copy miles, delivery as well, and time all of them into multiple linear regression, this worksheet. Okay, and uh, we're going to use data analysis to pack regression. Okay. So input the Y range. So Y is the time. So again, I'm going to put my mouse here and press shift and control together and downward arrow. For the input X range, so that's the independent variable. So we have two columns A and B. So shift and control, press and hold and downward arrow. And labels, I like to generate the results in a new worksheet. This time I'm going to uncheck all the residual plots. Okay, so you can see the results being populated right away. So it's pretty straightforward. We have miles here, corresponding slope coefficient, delivery slope coefficient as well. And by looking at the size of p-value, again, this is a 10 raised to power negative 83, so it's very small. This is super small as well. So that means both miles and deliveries, they are pretty much like significant factors when trying to explain time taken. So this is the first example. Let's take a look at the second example then. So I'm going to rename it. This is an example one output. Right. Let's take a look how we can regress time, uh, miles, and delivery time. So first of all, I'm going to copy these three columns into a new sheet. Okay, so I have it here. Uh, what is a unique situation here is delivery time Instead of a numerical variable, in this case, it is a categorical variable. Data analysis two-pack does allow us to perform regression. Data analysis two-pack does not allow independent variables to be categorical. In order to get around this, what we have to do is we have to convert categorical variable delivery time into numerical numbers. And in this case, there are going to be dummy variables to represent the time of this delivery. So for delivery time, if you take a closer look, I'm going to use data here and I'm going to click on filter. So you can see delivery time actually has four different delivery time. It could be morning, afternoon, evening or night deliveries. So four of those. What we want to do here is we want to create uh, four dummy variables and those dummy variables are going to be binary variables. So they are one or zero. Instead of using this categorical variable, we're going to have a four binary one or zero variables in our regression. And in this way, we can get around a data analysis two pack does not take categorical variables as independent variables. So first of all, what we want to do is we want to insert, we want to create some empty columns here. So I created four columns here and uh, they're going to be known as delivery time indicator variables, uh, dummy variables. So the first one is going to be morning. Okay. I created four, I, four columns here. So I'm going to, so for example, for the first assignment we have here, it is an evening delivery. So what we want to have is I want to make sure the dummy variables for evening is one and the rest of them is going to be zero, right? Same goes for this one, evening is going to be one and uh, the rest of them is just zero. But you can see you can manually do this, but it's going to take a really long time. Instead, what we want to do is we want to use an if statement to automatically fill out all of these dummy variables. So let's see how we can do that. Probably want to use an if statement to carry out that. Before you do that, you want to double click on, the, on this delivery time. 
uh, would have noticed is, is, for example, the first one, instead of evening, it is actually an evening with a space. I'm not sure whether you're able to see that. The second one, instead of evening, it is an evening with a space as well. So I think it is something an intrinsic property in the data set itself. So we have to be careful with that. So for example, the first one, if the delivery time is equal to morning, but I have to put a space here. If it is morning delivery, we're going to spit out this one. If it is not, we're going to put a zero here. So no surprise, this one is zero. I'm going to drag it all the way to the end of the column. Okay, I'm going to stop here. So you can see there are some one, some zero. I highly recommend you to cross check them to make sure that what you did, your if function is indeed correct. For example, this is a morning delivery. It is one and we don't have any other. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is we want to repeat this as well. So again, equals to if this delivery equals to afternoon. Again, make sure you have a space as well. So you have to really take a closer look of your data before you can do that. Okay, I just generate all the dummy variables for four of them, as you can see that. And I have the dependent variable and my exponential variable here. Uh, again, in order to use data analysis two pack, we do have to make sure they are next to each other. So all the independent variables have to be next to each other. So what I decided is I'm going to copy this one column here. And I'm going to insert it here. So you can see all the independent variables are column C, D, E, F, G. So they are next to each other. And column H is the dependent variable. So that data analysis regression as well. Okay, so input the Y range. In this case, it's just going to be this one. I'm going to press and hold Control Shift and all the way down. Okay. And so input X range in this time is going to be column C, D, E, F. And I think that's going to be pretty good. Okay, click OK. Okay, what we have here, I'm just going to rename it. So this is example two, output. Let's take a look. Okay. So what we have here is uh, we have a coefficient table given at the very bottom. And we see that there are uh, four dummy variables and one miles. Miles has its corresponding coefficient and a standard error as well. So for the four dummy variables, in fact, you actually don't need the four dummy variables. You just need a three of them. But we include one. We include the four of them. That's OK. And you can see the coefficient is zero. So the dummy variable with a coefficient zero is used as in the reference reference dummy variable. So all the estimates here are compared with the reference. So let me take a look. Let me try to explain what that means. For morning delivery, it's associated coefficient, slope coefficient is 0.17. That means compared to a night delivery, a morning delivery is going to take 0.17 more hours. Okay. For afternoon delivery compared to night delivery is going to take 0 0.029 hours. And for evening delivery compared to night delivery, it's going to take additional 0 0.289 or 290 hours. So by looking at the size of this coefficient, it is easy to see that the night delivery actually takes the uh, shortest amount of time. And uh, evening delivery usually takes a uh, longer time. It could be because evening delivery, there's a lot of traffic involved and Right. But in any case, this is how we interpret the coefficients. And I usually take a look of the p-values first, too. So this is a 0 0.47, 0 0.89, 0 0.20. They're all pretty big. And that means delivery dummy variables of this three are probably not a significant factor in order to when we try to predict time. And they are not significantly different from the reference level night, night delivery. Right. Right. And I think that's pretty much it. So if you want to have a more detailed, you want to take a look at a more detailed explanation of how to interpret these coefficients and p-values, please make sure to refer to the lecture videos. I used a different software there. I used Excel stat. The results, the outputs are completely identical to what we got here using data analysis 2-pack, but I provided more explanations there. Hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Thank you very much for watching.